Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nortech Videos and in this video we will understand what is NLA. NLA it stands for Network Level Authentication and it is a secure layer while you RDP or Remote Desktop Connection or computer remotely. So it establishes a connection, secure connection between the source and the destination. Also, NLA, NLA utilizes CRED SSP to pass authentication request from the initiating system and the credential SSP stores credentials in LSA memory of the initial system and these credentials may remain in memory even after a user logs off uh, from the system. So this provides a potential exposure risk for credentials in memory on the source system. So this is better to implement uh, or configure the NLA if you have a remote engaged infra. Let's go ahead and check it. Let's go ahead and check it. So this is my client machine. I will show you what is NLA. So this is a remote feature, if you click on remote, here you can see allow remote connection, so it will, if you click on that, that will allow the connection to access this server remotely or the computer uh, remotely and this is NLA allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication. Also this is uh, to ensure and uh, reduce the risk of ransomware because the ransomware while uh, there is any attack then this utilize the remote connectivity through WinRM or other features. So let's go ahead and uh, check it how we can enable it through the group policy. So this is again my domain controller and uh, let me open the group policy console pmc.msc so this is my domain adi.com and here I have some of one test computer this test computer is here in this OUCHN and here we will create a policy so this will be the computer based policy so make sure your all computers where you are creating or applying the policy they should uh, reside under that OU. So let me create a new policy here. This is NLA. This is very important to give a, a specific name so that you can easily recognize what is this setting for and why the group policy is created. So NLA, I am giving the name enable. Okay. Click OK, new policy is created. Here, let us open the policy. And here you have to expand policies and then administrative templates and here Windows settings and you have to look for remote desktop services. And in remote desktop services, remote desktop session host and then security because this establishes a secure channel so this is in security so this is the setting which has to be applied if you see the description the policy setting allow you to specify whether to require user uh, authentication for remote connections to the rd session host uh, server by using network level authentication. So this is the setting. So we have to apply this and here you have to enable this setting. Okay, let's enable then apply then okay and this is done from server side. Let's go ahead and update the policy once and meanwhile let's go to the client computer. So this is my client machine and here let me see again whether this is applied no because we have to update the policy so let's update the policy EP update slash force also i would recommend you to take a reboot of client machine because this is computer based policy and uh, it will apply when the computer is rebooted 
or it might take some time so group policy is updated and let's check it out once what happens remote policy and here you can see this is grayed out so you can see here the setting is grayed out and this is by default because we are controlling the settings through the group policy that's why the tick mark is there but this is grayed out so by default it will be enabled for all the computers so this is one of the best way and it will reduce the chances for ransomware and uh, other uh, virus attack so if you are liking my video you can subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching